Welcome everybody, welcome to ClearDesk. I'm gonna talk about today a very, very important upcoming, the DICE Tech Salary Report. This is the 2022 edition, but it has some key takeaways and areas that I really wanna focus on that are is gonna help you grow your career and really choose the right path of where you want to be or where you are and where you wanna be, right? Based on your career goals and objectives. So let's dive right in. But first things first, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like this video certainly appreciate that all right so this is the tech salary report by dice 2022 edition so first i'm going to talk about the key takeaways then a little bit on salary trends how much you know various positions are making for example if you're a web developer what are you going to make if you're a devops engineer you know what are the expected salary and so on so let's dive right in into our first key takeaways for this report is the fact that they're going to talk about the average tech salary is now in six figures which is pretty standard right and actually it's pretty good because a few years ago it was like 70,000 80,000 but now it's like over six figures anyways that has become a normal normal standard so that's the major major key takeaway in this i'm also going to talk about the cities that enjoy the significant tech salary growth so you can position yourself and think about because everything is remote these days anyways right so the idea is that you want to be able to sort of like live in a place that has low uh you know rents or whatever it is right and then of course make high salary that kind of makes sense doesn't it right all right so this is the key takeaway let's go to table of contents i'm going to talk about the next which is the salaries right the salary trends there's some additional you know details that are provided in this report but you can take a look at this if you need this report just let me know you know reach out in the comments i'll put a link in the description also you can download this report from our blog which is blog.claydas.com all right so let's go to salary trends something very very important to all of us the 2021 last year salary by the way was a little over hundred thousand right but this year has grown a little bit higher so you're not going to find you know you're probably going to find all these positions i'm going to talk about those two like which position makes what kind of salary but they're a little over 110 120 thousand dollars anyways right that's the normal that people are making even at the entry level yes you heard that right even if you're an entry level for example devops engineer i've had many many students by the way they've their entry level and they've landed on a job that's like 122,000, 118,000, not less than that that's the normal and this is probably due to inflation also but here on the chart you can see major cities that are giving the average salaries in the top tech hubs for example if you're in the boston area you're looking at about one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. same is true for new york and that's the east coast if you go on the west coast silicon valley is paying a little bit higher one hundred and thirty three thousand on average now notice this is average right so you could be 120 at an entry level or it could be 150 if you're an experienced individual so this gives you a nice idea this is by the metro area so average salaries by tech hub is sort of like silicon valley is of course number one on the list here 133,000, and then you have seattle new york boston san diego denver and so on so notice it's they're pretty much the same though right so it doesn't matter which area you are uh, within the u.s the average salary seems to be anywhere from 110 and up okay only cities on the bottom on the list here uh, for example ohio florida they're paying in the mid uh, 90s which is not bad even if you're just entry level i mean after a year or so people switch jobs anyways i'm going to talk about that later also in a, in a different video uh, the average time spent on a job all right so this is the salary trend and let's take a look at the tech salary satisfaction because this is also important the work-life balance is important when you you know work for a company so before you actually you know accept the position make sure you understand what the company culture is what do they give you are you going to be satisfied at the job or 
not. So that's really, really something that it's important. So the number of technologists who report uh, being either very satisfied or somewhat satisfied with their salary increased from 21.5% in 2020 to about 29% in 2021, which is not bad, which is pretty good because, and this is probably due to inflation, like I mentioned earlier, because the, the you know everything is up um, in general, all prices are skyrocketing anyways. So this is kind of adjusts the salary, but nevertheless, if you are you know, living in a, a budgeted area or you budget well, then of course this is a high, high salary, which is excellent, right? So this is the range of the salary. So income change from one year ago, this was about 61%, right? As opposed to 52, which is excellent. So in 2021, 61% of the technologists reported receiving a salary increase up from 52% you know you see the trend right the trend is of course everything is happening and growing in terms of salary so main reasons for salary increase is merit raise and this is sort of like important because this is where your skills shine so if you are continuously you know updating your skills your you know your technical skills that is whether you're getting more certifications into AWS Azure or GCP or whatever your area is or if you're a web developer you need to continuously update our skills and that's something that you know we focus on and i focus on bringing in the latest technology courses so as soon as you update your skill you get certified boom you get an increase in your pay and that stays by the way that increase stays in your pay so a little bit of work on your end uh, but it certainly pays off and that's something a good strategy when you you know take a look at updating your skills Negotiation is also very, very important and key. Most times I've come across many of my students that just don't negotiate. They get an offer and they say, oh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. We'll accept the $120,000. They don't talk about the benefits. They don't negotiate, you know, the, you know, let's say remote work scenarios, maybe stipend pays or their health benefits and whatnot. Even, even salary, they don't negotiate. But this is something important because technologists have three prime opportunities to negotiate higher compensation and that really depends on your skills so for example let me give you an example here if you are let's say an aws certified cloud practitioner and you're offered let's say one hundred and ten thousand uh, dollars salary right a yearly salary well guess what if you get certified further if you have let's say three additional certifications from aws let's say you are also a solutions architect and maybe even a devops professional so did you negotiate your compensation that's the question so make sure you do that that's also a key key area that you need to focus on all right next are the benefits and job perks what benefits are important to technologists so they found that paid vacation days are awesome right so typically they took about three weeks of paid vacation in a year and that's pretty high considering you know the previous trends so the benefit employees have versus those they find important for example the top is the paid vacation days then they have the health insurance dental insurance and paid six days and of course 401 matching pension plans these are the top three or four benefits that are important when you're actually looking into or getting into the tech field or getting yourself an upgrade so that's really really key the last thing i want to talk about is the skills appendix this is pretty nice because the average salary by programming skill now i've talked about the aws you know devops engineers or azure uh, engineers or solutions architect but what if you're a programmer right so this is a good chart that talks about the average salary by programming skill so for example if you're a .NET developer in 2021 last year the average salary was one hundred and ten thousand dollars uh, similarly, if you're um, an ABAP, Access, Active Directory, all these skills or all these areas or tools that are listed, you can take a look at and see where you fall. So once again, I'm going to have this on our blog. Make sure you you know get to the blog and you can download the report or just view it right there um, right after this. So not to worry. Similarly, if you have skills in, in databases, for example, Hadoop or um, Heroku, you'll have the salaries listed here so if you are a web developer and you want to update your skill you can kind of take a look at see what companies are looking for and what they're after 
for example, if you're um, into databases uh, like, for example, um, graph databases or um, DynamoDB or RDS, so they're all listed here. So for example, right here, you can see that RDS developer, if you're uh, into databases, makes about 133,000 last year. So again, these skills matter. That's the bottom line. So the higher the number of skills you have, of course, the negotiations, um, you know, you're better off negotiating a higher salary. All right. So that's all I had. Let me know in comments what you think, what you're currently pursuing, whether you're a web developer or you want to pursue the certification path, whether it's the cloud engineer or an architect. Let me know. I'll be happy to hear your comments. And with this, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And with this, I'll see you guys in the next video.